Hi, good morning. Hi, favored ones. Welcome to Soul Reflections. Um, in today's segment, we're going to talk about learning the lessons of every experience that you have. And as you learn those lessons, as you apply those lessons, you tend to level up or improve in life. And the Freedom Series, the workshop that I've been conducting for the past six weeks has ended just yesterday and there were lessons that I learned and I knew that I needed to practice those lessons I needed to apply those lessons into the next set of workshops or programs that I have to create and it really doesn't matter if the experience is short term, medium term, or long term. There are so many kinds and forms of experiences. And the latest experience that I have is being an online reseller of Excelente Hams. And it just made me realize that um, I'm not really afraid of work, different kinds of work. Because being an online reseller and doing it alone means that I have to take orders on my own. Watching out for Viber messages, IG messages, text messages from the customers, updating them. And that's just the first part. Um, aside from that, I also had to coordinate with the store, fix the logistics, coordinate with the driver, um, and when the items come here, it came to a point when I also had to do my own packing, do my own packaging. So, all those kinds of work, um, it reminded me of who I was Maybe 10 years ago, when I really had to do all the work, yung nitty gritty. And it made me realize that I'm the type of person who, who has a hard time delegating. And as I went through the experience of online reselling, I started creating systems. Um, you know, checking what would work, what would not work. And along the way, improving it. And I realized that with this online selling stint, with this um, experience, there are lessons that I have to relearn once again and apply it into my mindfulness, my coaching, my counseling um, business. And it's just a wonderful experience because it grounded me once again, you know, um, because when it comes to counseling and coaching, I don't really need to do a lot of physical work. I do mental work, you know, but then physical work, not so much anymore. And being an online reseller, I had to activate that part of myself. And my body has to adjust because I, I simply wasn't used to, to waking up thinking of hams, thinking of the customer's before going to sleep, um, thinking of customers again. So, that was during the day, answering calls, um, doing the labor itself. So, my physical body was no longer um, that fit. And my body had to adjust to, to that kind of work. And I realized that, okay, um, systems has to be made. I needed help. And... I need to hire some people to help me, and that's okay. So, pero ang laki ng learning experience because what I love about it is that it grounded me back to my physical body. And I realized that, oh nga no, kaya ko na talaga mag-exercise. I have to be more um, mindful and conscious of my body because it's not like the way it was before. Wherein, kahit na magtrabaho ko buong araw, the next day, kaya pa. Kasi I'm now, ano na eh, I'm now 39. So, I also have to 
train my body to endure so much stress <laughs> in terms of physical labor. And that was a wake-up call. So, um, there are some new things that I need to add into my life so that I could improve my life once again. And I'm not really complaining about the, <laughs> the work or the opportunity that came my way. But I just love the realization that there are some people who are so used to physical work. Yung running around from one place to the other, managing things, managing businesses, and their bodies are okay. And yet, they still maintain the, the, the spiritual side of their life, wherein they wake up at 4, they wake up at 5 to do their prayers, and you know, before going to bed, they still remember to um, give their evening prayers. You know, just being grateful and thankful for, for everything that has happened during the day. Because I have to admit that um, there was a time when I was really so tired, as in super pagod talaga, that I oversleep, tapos parang medyo nasisira na yung schedule, um, yung morning prayers ko sobrang iksi na lang, and then, before I go to bed, parang iniisip ko pa yung, yung work. But I have to bring myself back to, to the present and, you know, be grateful. Diba? Instead of going to sleep thinking of work, I go to sleep thanking God for, for the blessings. So, there were a lot of lessons along the way. Kahit na itong December lang naman ako nagsimula sa pagbebenta online selling and it also made me realize that whatever it is that you're doing right now whatever experience life experience that you are going through in this moment there are always lessons to be learned and the lessons the lessons um it cannot be stuck in the head lang you truly learn the lessons when you start applying it in your life. But when you only understand the lesson, and nandyan lang siya sa utak, pero hindi mo siya ginagamit sa buhay mo para maging mas maganda ang buhay mo, then you haven't really realized the lesson yet. So that's, that's the, ano, sa so dinami ng sinabi ko kanina, yun lang pala yung point, no? <laughs> so, there is a difference between understanding the lesson and realizing the lesson. So, when we understand the lesson, it's at the mind level lang. But when we realize the lesson, yes, we know the lesson and we realize it into the physical form. We express it into our lives. So, yun yung next step when it comes to when it comes to learning the lessons. So first, there is understanding it, and the second part is realizing it. And when you realize, that's when you turn it into actions. You put it into practice, you apply it into your life, so that your life becomes better. So dun ka level up. And the universe, God, and the divine would give you different kinds of experiences in life for you to better yourself to better your life so you have to be discerning and aware of the lessons that each experience bring into your life and i'm not saying that sa work aspect lang ito ha kasi ang example ko is sa work yung online selling but it also applies to your relationships to 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 your love life or it could also um, pwede rin gamitin yung sa finance aspect of your life or it, pwede rin gamitin yung social life so there's so many aspects of ourselves and we all go through different kinds of experiences whatever it is that you're going through right now there are lessons to be learned understand it, realize it and apply it into your life so that would help you level up. Um, you know, in spirituality, a lot of people would say that 
they want to be more awakened. And when I was, you know, starting in this journey, I used to wonder, what does it, what does it mean to be awakened? But, you know, as I go through in life, I realized that all experiences would lead to awakening because it opens up more into awareness. The same as what happened recently, di ba? Parang ngayon that I'm doing online selling. And the, and the online, online selling experience itself is one of the ways for me to be more aware, to be more awakened. And it also helped me integrate this, the spiritual life into the mundane life, the everyday life. So it's very integrated. Um, so, yun yung ano, yun yung lesson for this week. And I hope that you also get to realize the lessons that you have to learn from the experiences that you have. No matter how simple or complicated you feel the experience is. No matter how small or big, short or long the experience, there's always a lesson to be learned. So, understand it, realize it, and put it into practice. Um, that would help you in your spiritual journey of awakening. It would help you be more mindful and aware. So, that's it everyone. I hope that you have a blessed Sunday. Um, medyo late na rin ako nag-start ngayon. But then, so be it. <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for listening. God bless everyone.